Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is the 11th war of the season, season 26. We have just one war left after this one. And I can't wait for the season to be over. Uh, but anyway, it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Campioles Marvel. I probably mangled that name, I'm so sorry. But let's take a look at the defenders that we are going to have to deal with here. And then we will formulate our plan of attack. As you can see, they've already uh, started. Got a little bit of a late start. Ooh, I'm the last one here. All right, so first off, I see a Medusa. And that shouldn't be a problem. I may take that Medusa with... Um, I could take her with Nick Fury. Uh, I'm, let me see. Yeah, I was thinking clairvoyant and uh, she can do this, but I may end up doing a lot of parry heavy uh, against her. Let's see with the global, yeah, everybody picks uh, protect. I don't have anyone on that next node. The mini has already been taken. Uh, Korg on Mixmaster is like a staple. Always see him there. All right. And we've got, oof, we got Professor X. He can be a bit tricky to fight. Uh, my Nick Fury could do it. Um, Claire could do it. So if I have to do that one, I, I might bring one of those in. Uh, we got Guardian here. He shouldn't be too difficult for Claire, even on that node. And we've got Colossus. Now, that's interesting. I would have thought that they would have reversed this. I would have expected Colossus on the node where uh, Guardian is and Guardian on the node where Colossus is. But shouldn't make too much of a difference. And okay, and we've got Fun, 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 Vision Arcus, Warlock can do that one. All right, we got Mini Boss Island here. And I always look at the uh, left side because that's usually the side that I take. Uh, whew. I hate fighting Nightcrawler. I really do. Um, but really, on this node, uh, Claire can do it. Uh, Nick Fury could do it. Um, but it's just annoying fighting him. Uh, so we'll see what happens. And we've got Tigra. Nick Fury can do that fight without uh, too much difficulty. And we've got Helmet Man uh, Mysterio here. And uh shouldn't be too difficult for, for any of the ones that I'm going to bring. Nick Fury, Warlock, or Claire should be able to do that fight. Unless there's something about that fight, that matchup that I'm not thinking of. All right. And we do have down there Man-Thing, uh, Human Torch. We'll take that fight. Um, and we do have somebody that will bring in a Human Torch. Kingpin, that's an annoying fight. Uh, annoying node. But if you uh, just play Stun Immune style, you should be able to handle that one to, you know, no problem. Uh, then we've got Spider-Ham, preferably somebody that can shut down evades would be great, uh, for that one. And Dr. Doom, we haven't seen Dr. Doom as the boss for a little bit. He used to be a staple, uh, as a boss, but I don't know who they're going to bring in, but Human Torch can possibly do that fight. Um... Immortal Abomination uh, can also be a good option there. So, yeah, not sure uh, how they're going to handle it. I'm usually not the one to take the bosses, which suits me just fine. Uh, if I did have to take him, uh, I'd go in, of course, with uh, Nick Fury or Claire. Warlock, eh, he might be able to do a little something, but he wouldn't be my first choice for that fight. All right, so let's get to the fighting. I'm already late getting in there, so I need to use up some energy. So we will be right back.
All right, so we're back. And as you can see, I'm going in with my standard team of Warlock, Nick Fury, and Black Widow Clairvoyant. Decided not to change up anything at all. Uh, so first fight is against Medusa. And I always mention this when I see a Medusa. She used to be um, top defender. You saw her as the boss all the time. Now she's on one of the easier nodes because she's very easy to counter. That's what happens with defenders. That's why I tell people don't necessarily rank up for defense unless you already have your attack teams situated for AQ and Alliance War. All right. They have a shelf life. Not worth it. So I chose to go in with Claire, even though there's a high chance that her nullification will fail. But a high chance to fail is still a chance to nullify and as you can see she's still nullifying so i just have to be careful and i have to be watchful all right so if she does get to three then i need to be careful like that it happened uh i i, I wasn't careful enough but we're still good all right and we got her down that could have turned out much much worse but you know we were okay so that was it for my path since they didn't put a defender and the mini was already taken. So now the only one here in the middle is Mixmaster Korg. You always see Korg there. He is a good placement, but seeing him there all the time gives us a lot of practice. And we have someone who is a Mixmaster Master and they take care of that Korg all the time. One shot. All right. So... Uh, Forsaken one, as you see there, moved up a little bit so that I would be able to get to uh, Professor X before I went to bed. Appreciate you, man. And uh, I was actually asked to bring in a counter for Professor X. And I didn't see it. I went in before I saw that, but I already had a plan, as you saw earlier, uh, who I would take if I was asked. And that would be Nick Fury. Okay, so I'm trying not to uh, evade because that will give me a buff. And then when he fires his special, I'll get those shocks on me. All right, so, you know, he's also kind of difficult to parry. Um, and you see here, I'm just, I was trying to wait for his uh, special there. And uh, so far, so good. Uh, we evaded early so that we didn't trigger dexterity. And there we go. Falter's ready. Yep, yep. But he's down. Okay. Uh, so that went about as well as I could have hoped for. Uh, definitely not as bad as it could have been. We still have the life model decoy active. So we're still in good shape. If I wanted to, I could heal up and have even more of a buffer. Now, on to section two. Uh, path three again, and the first fight is against Guardian. Guardian, he gave me a little bit of worry only because I know I'm not going to be able to fire off my specials because he likes to block specials. So I knew that whatever I did, I needed to rely on her being able to nullify his armor up, which he gets periodically. Um, not a, a terrible placement for him, but again, as long as they get armor ups that can be nullified, we're good. All right. And you can see here, I was trying to bait that out. I didn't really want him to go to a special uh, two, but it didn't do that much damage. And normally I would have fired off a special uh, there, but he caught me. And now I'm just like, okay, you know what? We need to finish this guy off. And I can't reliably fire a special two off to get any health back. So I'm like, let's just finish him. Okay. Boo. And he's still alive. And now he's not. Okay. So um, that, that just is annoying. I was like, yeah, I'm going to finish him off with my special three. 2% health left. Okay. Anyway, next fight is who we usually see on that node. Colossus. And Claire is awesome against Colossus. She nullifies his armor ups. 
and he has easy specials to evade. So we're good, okay? Uh, and I thought about doing this fight with uh, Warlock just for a little bit of fun. But I said, you know what? Let's not. I don't know where we're going to place in the end of the season, but uh, I didn't want to play around and possibly lose us this war because uh, our war has been close and this war is very close. We cannot afford any deaths, really. Okay, so here we go. I'm able to heal up a little bit and he will not survive for me to get up to another special two and heal up some more. Okay, so at this point, we just need to take him down. You know, a little bit of health left. Now he's gone. All right. So I believe the mini was already taken by this time. All right, I think so. Yep. So on to mini boss island. Now they have done a great job clearing it. Uh, we discussed it before I got to mini boss island. So I knew that the left path uh, had been taken. I was asked if I felt comfortable taking uh, those left ones. I believe there was a night crawler there and I didn't want to fight him. Uh, so spider ham is the only one left on the right hand side. And I'm not well versed in fighting spider ham. But if I had had to choose, I would have probably tried to use Warlock, parry heavy and hope I can get him down early, um, get some infections on him, something like that. But Nick Fury can also do it. If he has enough tactical charges, and I believe it's five, they can evade. Well, I'm not used to that particular mechanic, but I was asked to bring in Nick Fury and just build up the tactical charges. Well, I run suicides, so I don't tend to fire specials off when I'm using Nick Fury unless it's going to kill them. All right, so my strategy here was to just stun him and just hit him. Remember, they have limber, so I'm not going to be able to use this strategy continually. All right, and uh, I'm just trying to get to that special one, and then I finally get to the special one, I fire it off, and I have four tactical charges. And I'm like, don't I need five? And I'm like, okay, we're just going to go in. He's not evading. Okay, so, you know, we got the full combo. He's got me in the corner now. And I'm just like, wow, this is not going well at all. But I am getting some bleeds on him. And then he caught me there. But the life model decoy was destroyed. And now I know he can't evade me. I panicked, fired all of that into his block. I'm like, oh, boy, this is not going well. He dexed me. Didn't evade. That was a dex. Okay, and uh, we got him, we got him, he's bleeding. I gotta evade, boom, got him down. That was a nerve wracking fight, okay? I was a little bit rattled because I'm not used to fighting him. I was trying a strategy for the first time and I got caught. And so we got him down though, without dying, without uh, any further deaths on uh, that spider ham. All right, so that's it. That's all that I did for this particular war. After a little intermission, we'll come back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Now, look at how close this war was. We won because we had three more attack bonus. Defender diversity was the same across the board, okay? This one was won because we died just a little less. Now, two wars ago, we lost because our defender diversity was low. I was surprised, and I talked to them about it, and they changed it. If we had the same defender diversity that we had two wars ago, we would have lost this one as well, okay? Um, it was too close. And just one or two points of uh, diversity would likely have gotten them the win, okay? Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.